Hi, I'm Dr. Nagashankar, neurosurgeon, Raghavendra Hospitals and Leela Karthike Hospitals. Today, I'll speak about few things about the open MRI. So, today we will learn what is open MRI, what are the advantages of open MRI, what is the difference between the open MRI and the tunnel traditional MRI. So, what are the advantages of the open MRI. So, let us move to the MRI room. So, I will show each and everything about the MRI. I will let you know the, some of the interesting points about the open MRI. Room. This is the MRI machine, Aries Vento LT, Hitachi. This is the machine room and the adjacent room is the workstation room. So I will explain the parts of this MRI. This is the permanent MRI. This is called the open MRI. Open means it is open from all the three sides. Unlike the conventional MRI, where all the sides will be encircled in a gantry, the patient will have lot of fear while entering into the gantry. But here, the patient won't have any fear. See here all these three sides from the front and the, from the sides and from the lateral side also fully open all the three times. So this is the table where we like make the patient to lie down. So this table is movable. This is all of you are seeing and it is coming out like this. These are the two and fro movements of the table. So the patient can comfortably lie down on this particular table. So depending upon the patient's requisition of MRI to which part we have to place the images that depends upon the position of the patient. Before subjecting the patient to the MRI, we should take care of certain of the precautions. So what are all the precautions? Some of the patients are not eligible to undergo MRI. So who belongs to this particular group? The patients who have pacemaker in their heart, they are not eligible to undergo this MRI test. The patients who have implants in their bones for fixation, they are not eligible for to undergo this particular MRI. So what are all the things the patient shouldn't carry while entering into this particular room? The patient shouldn't have any cell phone with them. They shouldn't have any iron object or metal object with them. The patient shouldn't have any magnets with them or any keys, bunches or keychains with them. So strictly they are avoidable and the patient should also do not have any credit cards or any cards with them chips with them. So I'll explain how this machine works. So we'll keep the patient in this particular table and we'll move the table inside this particular magnetic field. Here this is the permanent magnet. So this is the magnetic field where the patient's part to be scanned is subjected to some radio waves exposure. So remember this is not a radiation. There is no radiation absolutely in this particular machine while undergoing the test. It is completely 100% radiation free. So, so many patients, they will coming to me and they are asking how this machine will produce radiation or how many times you can undergo MRI scan. So, the answer is you can undergo any number of times in this particular MRI machine. Absolutely, there is no radiation. It is free of any complications. I will explain about this room. This room is specially constructed for this particular MRI because you know the magnet has attractive capacity for the iron material. So this room is completely made up of wooden and copper backbone. So this is completely encircled with air condition because this MRI requires completely air condition and temperatures are very less in this particular room. We will maintain the temperature with a humidifier as well as the heaters. The temperature will be maintained at 20 degrees centigrade round the clock. Hi Garo, how are you? I am fine sir. With what complaint you came here? I am getting severe headaches on the okay. left part of my head sir. Since how many days you are having headache? Approximately from one month sir. Yeah. I have consulted many doctors, they have recommended me MRI scanning. But I have feared by looking at the machines, they are looking like a tunnel and like a cave. I okay. can't able to breathe there. Okay. And I have watched this on YouTube recently, so I have came here. Okay. Did you have completed MRI scanning there? No sir, I couldn't able what to come. in the middle? Because I can't able to breathe, uh, actually I have claustrophobia, so I can't breathe there and I'm, every time I'm fearing they are not allowing any person with me. Okay. So I'm getting scared sir. Have you heard him, what he's saying? So he says that he went for an MRI, in the middle it was stopped because he had 
immense fear of the noise that is generated by the conventional MRI machines. Now, see how he can undergo this MRI machine in this particular machine. Now, I will introduce our technician, Mr. Tarun. Hi, Tarun. Can you arrange the table for the scan? Okay. See how nicely he is arranging the table for the scan. Tarun, can you get the brain coil? Can you keep that? See, this is how the patient will be positioned at the table in the supine position. Well, absolutely free and quiet, and the environment is also very cool, calm, and quiet. Gaurav, are you comfortable with this position? Yes, sir, I'm fine. Do you have any breathing difficulty? No, sir, no, sir. Okay. Now we will start the scan. All of you are seeing this. All of you have seen, it has completely gone inside the machine, but three sides it is open, so air flow is very free. So, the patient do not have any breathing difficulty with this position. So, from three sides it is open completely, so he can communicate with us if he had any problem. So, usually in conventional scans, the attendant will not be allowed to stay inside the MRI scan room with the patient. So, only the patient needs to stay inside the machine until the completion of the scan. But here we will allow one of the attendants of the patient inside the room, they can sit freely inside the room and they, if they want they can communicate with the patient also. In between the MRI room and the console room, vice versa the patient as well as the technician can communicate with each other through a small mic kept there. Unlike the conventional MRI, we will allow one of the patient family members to sit along the side of the patient up till the completion of the MRI scan. You might have heard about the claustrophobia because so many people have fear of the closed spaces. That means if the patient is kept inside a closed room, if the, all the four sides were closed, the patient will have a lot of fear and they will literally come out of that particular room. They will have severe panic attacks if they stay in the particular room for a long time. For claustrophobics, if they underwent scan in the conventional MRI, sometimes the patient will have dangerous palpitation, they will have some dangerous hypotension. Sometimes their condition will deteriorate if they underwent scan in this particular conventional. Not all in cases, but some of the claustrophobics will experience like this. So in this open MRI, the claustrophobics also can get their scan done very comfortably and without any noise in this particular scan. Even for the children as well as the old age people, they can also undergo scan without any difficulty of air breathing or without any difficulty in hearing the noise because literally there is no noise while undergoing the scan. This is completely a quiet and safe scan. Now I will explain how this MRI machine works. The physical principle indulged in this particular machine working. This is the strongest magnetic field so, we are subjecting the patient into a strong magnetic field. So, when the power is on, the magnet releases radio waves. Remember, this is not a radiation wave, this is a radio waves. These radio waves will be emitted from this particular machine and they will enter into the body. In our body, there are water molecules because you know there are so many cells in the body, each cell have water molecules. Water molecule is nothing but hydrogen and oxygen. So, hydrogen and oxygen. So, when the, these hydrogen atoms are subjected in the magnetic field, all the cells, hydrogen atoms will realign. They, they will align in a particular position. So, when the energy is emission is completed, these cells will re-go into their original normal place, but they release some radio waves. So, these waves will be cut in the machine and they will be transmitted to the console room. So, this console room is nothing but a particular computer. So, these signals, those, are, those will be called T1 weighted images, T2 weighted images and flare images. There are so many different images that can be done. There are different scans like magnetic resonance, angiogram and magnetic resonance, venogram. These are so many things that can be done through this machine. These signals and these images will be captured in the particular console. From there, we will print the images into particular films and will hand out to the patients. It's completely fine, sir. I'm able to breathe and it's very low in sounds compared to that uh, I have tried in uh, tunnel MRI, which has a large Tesla, it, uh, which has a structure of tunnel MRI. 
I have tried four to five times, but it hadn't worked. And this time it completely done, sir. It's very easy to breathe and um, not not at all. There is no fear, which I have felt in the that MRI. Compared to that, it is ten times better than that, sir. Okay. It was stopped in the middle because you got fear. Yes, sir. I MRI. paid the money to that uh, tunnel MRI and, and I took return three to four times, sir. That's a time waste thing I have it. But here uh, it's very easy to scan. I have watched it in YouTube. Uh, that's the best thing I have did. Right. Thank you. A lot of you might have heard about what he says. He's a typical example for a claustrophobic patient. So claustrophobia means the fear of the closed spaces. So we might have had so many people when they were kept in a closed room, which was closed all the four sides, they will develop a fear. Because of fear, they couldn't be able to stay for a long time in this particular room. They will come out of the room. In the same fashion, if the patient underwent scan in a tunneled MRI, like old conventional MRIs, they will have some fear. And due to fear, they will stop the scan process in the middle itself. So they will come out of the machine and they will stop the scan process in the middle. So what happens when the claustrophobic enters into the particular MRI? I'll explain. Some of the claustrophobics, while they undergo the scan process, they will have increased palpitation. That means their heart rate will be increased. They will have air hunger. Some of the patients will feel difficulty in breathing. Some of the patient will ask the technician to stop the process in the middle. So this is the typical uh, claustrophobic patients what happens when they enter into this particular uh, tunnel MRI. So that will be avoided in this particular open MRI because from the four sides it is open. From anterior aspect, posterior aspect and lateral aspects from all the aspects the machine is open. So the patient will not feel any air hunger or any difficulty in breathing. At the same time, because it is open completely and we are allowing one of the attendants or one of the family members along with the patient, they do not have any fear or that means they do not have any palpitations or increase in heart rate like that. Some of the claustrophobics, when they enter into the conventional tunneled MRI, some of the patients will become unconscious because of air hunger or because of the fear. So these complications will be completely 100% will be avoided in this particular open MRI. One more advantage of this open MRI is even the kids as well as the children can undergo the MRI scan very easily without any noise in a quiet and safe environment. So these, these will be allowed with their parents along with them while undergoing the scan. Even the old age people can also undergo this particular scan with very ease. So in a nutshell, I will explain what are all these scans that can be done in this particular MRI. So coming one by one. So particularly the brain scan. So MR of the brain, D1 W images, T1 images, T2 images, as well as the MRA and MRV. And MR of the whole of the spine, because you will have cervical spine, dorsal spine, and lumbar spine. So entire spine, it can be done. And individual spine also, it will be done. So cervical spine, dorsal spine, and lumbar spine. This can be done. Other MRIs, what can be done is joint MRIs. So shoulder joint, hip joint MRI can also be done. Knee joint MRI, ankle joint MRIs can also be done. So upper limbs or lower limbs, whatever the muscular component also can be done. So muscle MRIs can also be done in this particular MRI to know the situation. In head injuries also, this open MRI is very much useful. In head injuries to know the site of the hematoma, the nature of the hematoma, whether it is extradural or subdural or intraparenchymal hemorrhage, that can be known this particular MRI scanning. And also the road traffic accidents where there is injury to the spine, or spinal cord interior injuries, that means intrinsic spinal cord bleeds or extradural bleeds of the spinal cord can also be known with this particular MRI scanning. Various types of brain infections like meningitis, encephalitis, meningoencephalitis, those can also be known with this particular MRI. Several of the vascular malformations, aneurysms, aneurysm ruptures and also brain tumors could also be diagnosed with this particular MRI. Various types of brain tumors, supratentorial, craniopharyngeoma, infratentorial, cerebellopontine angle tumors, meningiomas, vascular malformations, meningioparicytomas, all the so many brain tumors can be diagnosed with this particular open MRI. This is the console room. Nicely, you are able to visualize these MRIs. So this is the MRI of the brain. So starting from the posterior fossa, we can visualize all the things in the brain. So this is the posterior fossa, this is the cerebellum. These are the orbits 
and these are the eyeballs. Above that, these are the frontal lobes. This is the temporal lobe. This is the cerebellum. And above the cerebellum, you will have occipital lobe. These are the ventricles filled with the CSF. And this is the higher frontal cortex, hyperatal cortex. So nicely, you are able to visualize the images. At the same time, you can also visualize the spine MRIs also. So let's have a look for the spinal MRI. This is the MRI of the spine. Nicely showing all the vertebrae. In between the vertebrae, there are vertebral discs. So disc hydration is very good for L1, L2, L3, L4, L4, and L5 as one. There is disc degeneration. There is a lack of hydration in this particular disc. And this, there is a bulge in the disc compressing the third substance. This is the axial roots of the spinal cord, lumbosacral spine. You can nicely see the shape of the spinal cord. You can see the nerve roots exiting from the neural foramen of both sides. Surrounding the muscle is also visible. So these are the backbone MRI. That means lumbosacral spine MRI. So whenever a patient comes with a low backache and the pain radiating to both the lower limbs, this MRI scan will be done. So by seeing this MRI, we can detect at which level the disc is problematic. So here you can see the L5 and S1 disc is a problem. It got degenerated and there is a disc bulge compressing the thecal sac. This is how we can diagnose and later we will treat the patient accordingly depending upon the clinical situation, whether it is medical or surgical, we will treat accordingly. The important and the necessary images will be arranged accordingly in this particular image basket. And these images will be sent for printing so that we will get a feel of important images. Tharun, can you send for print? Yeah, it was sent. This is the case stream printer. So images were sent to this printer. It will take one minute for the entire process and for the printing of the film from the system. Now you can see the film nicely coming out. Along with the film, we will also deliver a CD for the patient. So 